Goldfish's script is not just an updated version of CAM scripts, but also comes with a variety of tools that can really explode your efficiency when creating mods with 3ds Max. Whenever you make changes in its interfaces it saves those configurations for the next time that you open 3ds Max. To download these scripts head to the GTA forums release page. To install these scripts head to your 3ds Max scripts directory. The folder GTA underscore tools, GF, and startup folders both go into the scripts folder. The startup folder's contents will not be replaced unless you have existing goldfishes or cam scripts installed. It is safe to override CAMS files if present. The first thing you will see is a new menu at the top named GTA Tools. From there you can access Goldfish's scripts at any time. If you click that menu and select DFFIO, you will be brought to a new interface for the main DFF script. Before importing a DFF let's have a look at the import settings. Multi-clump can only be accessed after importing a skin model that supports clumps such as CJ's body parts or clothes. These are different states of CJ, for example, when he is shredded or fat. Image type, set this to TGA if you followed one of the previous videos showing how to set up texture paths. If you extracted your images in a different format, choose that instead. Material type, in most instances you will want to set it as GTA material. This material contains custom properties that the standard material type does not. The standard option should only be used for compatibility with other render or game engines. A. This is enabled by default. When enabled, skin models will retain their original skinning information. If disabled, the relation between the mesh and the skeleton is lost. There are a few other import settings, but these are mostly for advanced users. I am not going to show you what 2D effects does in this video, as that will be covered in another video. Now that you have learned how to import a model, it's time to take a look at the export settings. The script can export to GTA 3, VC, and SA. All three uses DFF, but are not compatible with each other. Append, this appends export to DFF. Lock DFF, this applies a basic lock which can be removed with tools such as RW Analyze or Hex Editors. The only effect of this lock is sum. Not all DFF importers are unable to import the model and may crash the software if attempted. If an actual lock is desired, such as not being able to load into a MTA server, you should instead make use of T-encode or other scripting functions. Use Vertex Alpha. This disables Light Flag but allows the model to render Vertex Flag. Light Flag acts as an exposure control that you would see on many cameras. It increases the minimum and maximum brightness of models and inherits lighting from the sky and is not ideal for models with complete darkness, such as caves and unlit areas. Leaving this setting off also allows you to use vertex alpha in models. Normals. This exports the model with its normals and smoothing. This is required for skin models and recommended for vehicles. This setting does increase the file size by a lot but is necessary for shading skin models and vehicles which don't use vertex colors. Day, this exports vertex colors which is used primarily for day lighting. Night, this exports vertex illumination which is used for secondary night lighting. Default VC and default NBC. These settings are for advanced users. Cell call, use this to select a collision file if you are exporting a vehicle model. Vehicle models use embedded collisions. UV fix, Enable this if you are seeing errors with the UV mapping in game. This could be stretched, missing or otherwise distorted UVs that don't appear in 3DS Max. Mesh fix. Enable this if you are seeing errors with the mesh in game. This could be wrong materials or distorted mesh that don't appear in 3DS Max. Skip call. Use this when exporting world objects. Export to DFF. Use this when exporting objects or vehicles to DFF. Bones and skin export. Use this when exporting skin models. Let's take a look at how DFF materials work. A material is a container that stores graphics effects seen on models. Color Guide lets you choose between a few vehicle color code presets. These colors are necessary if you want to be able to change vehicle colors in game, or if you want a light to lighten up in game. Ambient sets the exposure of the material. A high value makes a vehicle overexposed while a low value makes a vehicle underexposed in other words dark. By default vehicles use a value of 0.45. Color 
it is usually best to leave as white as there are other coloring methods available than material colors. If desired, you can plug an image into the slot to give the material a texture. Alpha sets the transparency level of the material. If desired, you can plug an image into the slot to act as alpha mask. Material effects type defines the type of special effect the material should have. Setting this is necessary if you want a fake reflection on the material. Reflection export can be toggled if you are adding fake reflection maps to the material. Reflection defines the intensity of the reflection map which can be added in the slot to the right. Bump map slot is used for bump mapping which is not possible with MTA, but with shaders in GTA it is. Dual texture export is used for multi-pass rendering. Export specular image section can be toggled if you want to include specular highlights in the material. Glossiness defines the intensity of the specular highlights.